The following comments may shock, offend, anger, or flat out make you laugh. They are in fact real comments from actual real YouTubers who are entitled to their own opinion and views about different videos and subjects. That being said, doesn't mean you can't say whatever the f*** you want about their comments. Viewer discretion is advised. If these What's up, YouTube? I'm Mike. And I'm Josh. And welcome to another episode of YouTube Comment Commentary. Now, before we get into the show, let me give you a quick, quick rundown on what we do here. We search the most popular videos on YouTube and look through the comment section. And then we take the angriest, the funniest, and even at the end of the show, we give you a comment of the week. And we like to call it the C-O-W. Then we take those comments and comment on the comments. Everything in the comment section is fair game, whether it is standard comment or reply. Now that you know what we do and what the show's about, let's get into it. Funniest comment of the week comes from the video, 11 Things Men Don't Know About Their Clothes. So in this video, we got a guy explaining to other guys things they may not know about their clothes. What's a button up versus a button down? What a polo shirt was originally meant for? Um, anyways, Eugene Ignorian has our funniest comment of the week. He shares some personal information and he says, is it bad to wear my underwear three months before I change them? Eugene, is it bad to walk into oncoming traffic? Is it bad to go skydiving without a parachute? If you can figure out the answers to these questions, then you're on your way to figuring out your dilemma. That being said, they would have to add a number 12 on that list to the 11 of what things men don't know about their clothes. And that would be, they have to be cleaned once in a while, Eugene. See Eugene, I don't mess around with the underwear department or the socks department. I got a month supply of both in my dresser. You know, I wear my underwear. They don't go in the wash. They go in the garbage, Eugene. Get that garbage out of here. And I know guys might run into this issue every once in a while. They might uh, stay over at a friend's house and forget to bring an extra pair of underwear. On that second day, it gets a little itchy down there. Eugene, your junk must be on fire. Eugene, thanks for the personal information. You got the funniest comment of the week, man. Congrats. The angriest comment this week comes from the Megan Trainer, all about the bass, parody all about the bass, Thanksgiving song video. Basically, there's a channel on YouTube, they do parodies of songs, and they chose to do a famous song right now, all about the bass, change it to all about the bass, a Thanksgiving version, and that's basically all they do. But there is controversy around this. A local radio station with a local radio talent named Sherry Rain. Sherry! They do a karaoke show every week. And over a week and a half ago, she came up with a very identical song. Even had the same name. So I'm here to give her, her credit for coming out with the first audio version of this. Even though they have the first video version and are getting all the millions of hits. She should still get some credit for coming out with the audio version. Shout out to FM96 and Sherry, we still love you. I hate baloney 59 has our angriest comment this week. He says, hey America, can we stop encouraging this f***ing annoying yuppie family? No? Well, f*** you too. Well, clearly, I hate baloney 59 doesn't just hate baloney. He hates America. He just told an entire nation to f*** off because of something they love. Now, I hate baloney 59 kids love Christmas. They get all jacked up about their gifts. Would you go up to a kid that is all jacked up for Christmas, waiting for Santa Claus, and tell him Santa Claus needs to f*** off? I don't think so. Now, before Mike says what he's got to say, we got another installment of the Angry Street for you. It's getting popular. We like doing it. Let's head there now. Hey, it's Josh, back on Angry Street, where I find fellow commenters, fans, and just everyday people looking to comment on the angriest comment of the week. Got someone here with us? What's your name, man? My name is Cody. Hey, Cody, how you doing? I'm doing well. Am I going to be on TV? Well, you're going to be on internet TV. Woo! Yeah. Um, so we've shown you the video, uh, Megan Trainer, all about that base parody video. Um, now, I have the angriest comment of the week here, and it's from I Hate Baloney 59 Hey, America. Can we stop encouraging this effing, annoying, yuppie family? No? Well, then F you too. If you saw I Hate Baloney 59 on the street, at the bar, wherever, what would you say to him? 
I would say that was uncalled for. It's a, it's a family video, and there's kids there, and the kids could definitely see those comments and be discouraged. Uh, I definitely think it was definitely uncalled for. I agree. Now, is this family really that popular in America? Popular in Canada also. Woo! Go Canada! Now, are you a fan of this show? Oh, yeah, I love this show. How, how many videos do you guys have? I think they have three or four. They're doing pretty well for them. That's enough. We don't want to hear about them anymore. Anyways, I hate baloney. 59, angriest coming week. Did he make you angry? Yes, very. That's right. I hate baloney. Congrats. You made us angry. You made him angry. You made America angry. Let's head back up to the studio. This is Josh signing off Angry Street. Another great job, Josh. I thought so, too. Another great job. I hate baloney doesn't just say, F this family. He doesn't just say, F this video. He says, F America. Well, you know what? I hate baloney. F you too. Angus comment this week, without a doubt, I hate baloney 59. It's time for the C O W. Our C O W comes from the video Violence in Table Tennis. So, in this video, we're watching two kids playing table tennis. A kid rapping, and a bunch of adults watching this event, okay? So, match is over, kid loses, shakes other kid's hand, good sportsmanship, right? Then he goes over to go to the ref, he doesn't shake his hand, he pushes him off his chair! It's crazy! Do not fear reason, has our comment of the week, our COW, he says, I would have clotheslined that nine-year-old so hard, he wouldn't feel the teabag of balls hitting his forehead afterward. Is this a regular occurrence? Like, there are fans, relatives, parents, all of the stands. No one does anything. No official, nobody. They just let this kid push this kid after the match. <laughs> that being said, I do agree with, with the commenter. The kid needs to be punished. But not to the extent he said, I'm not entirely on board with the clothesline slash teabag. Okay, I'm cool with the clothesline. This kid deserves something. He deserves to get hurt. You don't push a ref, but teabagging, now, I don't even like getting teabagged in a video game. When I die in Halo and someone teabags me, it hurts my heart. Josh, some of our audience might not know what a teabag is. Okay. Shouldn't you show them? I guess so. Okay, teabagging. Someone's on the floor, face up. You get on over top of them and you dip those balls on that face. It's not very nice. Now, doing it to a nine-year-old, you might be wanted for child molesting man so be careful i'm okay with the clothesline teabag might be taking it too far but an awesome comment and that's why you got comment of the week do not fear reason if you watch the video we appreciate it if you like the video comment in the comments and give us a thumbs up below till next time youtube keep those comments coming